Welcome to Not A Gamer Gaming, this is Genosis, and I have an interesting video for you today. At least I'll try to make it interesting. Alright, you may recall a video we did not so long ago, I'd say about a month ago, four weeks, roughly. Uh, we did a video on a base pretty much exactly like this. Uh, we called it our AFK Horde Base. Now, there has been some contention about, uh, you know, in the comments, a lot of feedback that we got about, well, this, this base is not going to hoard the hold up against more zombies, it's going to get difficult, what about the cops, uh, you know, etc. I mean, those are valid concerns, and I'd like to address them. Let's take things a little extreme. Uh, as the title of the video, as well as you may see on the screen, it's day 7000. I also made myself level 300. I have a game stage of 720. Um, and all I'm going to be armed with are these two turrets. And we upgraded the base. I mean, if we're going to doing day 7,000, and I'm also turning on uh, max level 64 zombies, we're going to need an upgrade. So I took this exact format and I gave it an upgrade. So we have the same incline. We have the same pathing with some alterations. Actually, some interesting suggestions about putting uh, half blocks up to make sure the zombies are hit in kind of an upward angle, not hitting near the chest, which would detonate a demolisher. So a few upgrades. Now we also, I also wanted to f uh, go through with the point that this base, we never really intended to be like, oh, this is going to kill your entire horde. This is the kind of base you want to use that, you know, you're, you can actually fight the horde in, you know, or you can just work away in your workbench or your forge, working away and you don't want to be bothered. Let's say you're in the wasteland and you have wasteland zombies coming up and they're just doing their thing. And we have these turrets knocking them on their asses again and again, eventually until they die. And that's just kind of handy. You can work away in peace. So that was the general intention, just to have a bit of fun, just to show a concept for a horde base. But let's put our base where our mouths are, mouths are and see if we can actually hold up against an extreme horde 64 zombies max you know maximum amount of zombies uh where game stage is sky high as high as uh, well i'm thinking you can get higher i'm not sure if zombie kills or even more days will get it higher than that but that's pretty friggin' high so all we're gonna be armed with today is just poundy number one and poundy number two now let's also say that i modded it with burning shaft rat remover um, weighted head and structural brace I don't believe has an effect on it the health, health or max durability um, doesn't seem to be affected when I uh, I put it on but hey what the hell we had to put something on and nothing else really fit there we go all right so we have the turrets in place now we also note that these turrets are full health at the beginning of the day and uh, we do have a turret set up here a simple uh, shotgun turret set to take out the vultures Okay, uh, it may also handle a straggler, like let's say um, zombies are bouncing all through and the turret knocks them in an upward direction and they land over here. They may eventually stand over here and the turret will take them out. Now, we're not gonna rely heavily on this turret. This is really just here just to clean up any leftovers. I only put 150 shells into it. So let's see if a, a single stack of shotgun shells will last the entire night against an entire horde of 64 zombies irradiated all to heck. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and set the time to zombie time. Let's go over inside here. All these are shut because we're going in AFK mode. And I'm also going to press F5 to change perspective. P to detach or to change perspective. And the left bracket to fully detach our camera. So I'm in here. I'm still in here doing my thing. But I can get a better view from the zombies. All right, so let's go ahead and get the horde started and see what we can do. All right, Horde is upon us, and uh, while the Horde is going through, I'm just going to go over various features, uh, talking points on the base. So, buckle up. All right, now first off, Horde is starting, which is cool. I'm still in here, like I said. Got my little uh, generator, and got my workbench, I got my forge. And we also got irradiated zombies coming out of nowhere. All right, first off, the uh, upgrades I did. I added a wider, oh god, a demolish right off the bat. Um, let's, let's just see what happens. There he goes. No detonation. Now, also note that the knockoff is usually far enough away that if an explosion will happen, it shouldn't detonate. So that's what we're banking on. Now, who do we have get shot over here? Didn't see a danger chicken. Must be hmm, hard to tell. Anyways, first upgrade, we did the stairs. So we did a triple wide stairs, so the massive amount of zombies don't fight so much to get up the stairway. They come up. 
If they, if they make up the stairway, great. If they, get fall off, they fall off, whatever, they keep going. Now we also added steel plates all the way around and filled with the gaps. Okay, nice and upgraded. Just, you know, for the rage, occasional rage zombies. One will be able to last the night. See what turrets doing their job up here. Uh, and yes, everything is also steel. And these guys just don't know what they're doing. I probably should also fill these in, but meh, I want to put some lights down. Alright, and then they're filtering up here, hitting turrets number one, and occasionally turrets number two, if they make it that far. Alright, let's go ahead and watch the uh, parade of zombies for a little while. Alright, so far so good. We're actually getting some kills of the experience coming in. Uh, as for perks, I pretty much spent all the points. I maxed out all the perks. Uh, primarily what's helping us right here is Robotics Inventor. We're getting an extra 20% faster uh, attack. Uh, that's, yeah, that's that's what you're seeing here with Poundy, pounding at an incredible rate. Um, I also granted myself the per the perk books. I mean, if you're in day 7,000, you're probably going to have all of these. But for the purpose of this video, I only read these seven. Now, the benefits it's going to give us is 10% more damage from robotic weapons, as well as the increased rate of fire. And this is probably one of the more important ones. All the others, other ones are not really going to affect the... Uh, yeah, he's not going to really affect... Oh, actually, the robotic weapons uh, degrading slower also will help. So that should be no problem. So far, we seem to be okay. Again, the only thing that's like, concerning me is the center portions here. Oh, oh we, got a, we got a straggler. And he's done. So yeah, the, uh, just with the ragdoll effects, there's bound to be some, you know, spillage. But if that gets over 100 and, you know, 100 and some shells, then we're in trouble. But I have a feeling we'll be fine. Alright, so the uh, zombies are coming down here. Knocked on their asses. Lots of fun to watch. But it's just raining zombies. We're getting all kinds of radiates. We're getting demolishers. So we're getting the full gambit here. Alright, let's go ahead and watch just a little longer. All right, so the turret's still working away. It's uh, almost midnight, so we're, just, we're doing pretty good here. Nothing really to worry about. Now, we could also further um, extend this base by adding electrical wiring. We could add blade traps. We could add all kinds of things. But that's not really the point I wanted to make here. I just wanted to see that these turrets would handle the absolute bulk of an entire massive horde, as you see here, irradiated, uh, way more zombies than we had on our first video, and also the occasional uh, vulture. Not a problem. <laughs> that was well timed, thank you. But again, um, this kind of style of base would probably be better for a few reasons. One, if uh, you want a short, small base, and you can take your time shooting the zombies, like you'd want to sit there and, you know, there's guns uh, wailing on them as well. But uh, let's say you just want a base where you can work away in peace. Get your forge running, uh, Screamer comes, not a problem, Poundy's got it. If you can handle uh, 64 irradiated zombies here, it'll, it'll handle a few Screamers. So, yeah, this is just kind of a, a concept. Uh, it's to keep yourself safe from hordes of zombies without having to worry about a lot of structural damage. Because if you have a wall, the zombies will beat on it. So we're putting it into a path, and the county over here is knocking them on their asses off of that path. Now, others may say that this may be cheesy. But at the same time, I'm not using any you know, random shapes to break zombie pathing. I'm literally brute forcing them off <laughs> off a ledge, pushing them way the hell off, and forcing them to start over again. Now, I'm gonna say that's not cheesy, uh, because we're not we're not breaking into the game systems. The uh, the sledge turret has a knockdown. That's part of the game systems, as well as the pathing. If they got knocked over, they come back and are get right back into that path. Again, all part of the game systems. You can have your own opinions and you're welcome to them. This personally I feel this is probably the truest, um, you know, anti-pathing uh, method that there is available using these sledge turrets. All right, let's go ahead and see how much longer we can last throughout the night. We're past midnight and we're still going. Man, this base is shiny. I like the lighting. All right, let's take a quick look. It's uh, 2, a 2 a.m. So we've uh, gone most of the horde night. Let's do a quick appraisal and see any major structural damage. Oh, do you have one block that's starting to crack? 
So that'll need some maintenance, but hey, one block's not too bad. Uh, even, even if that one goes, it's probably not a big deal. But there's a bit of a bottleneck here, so... Yeah, there they go. They really just didn't like that block. But they're still coming. You know, the uh, goal of this whole video is to make sure that we can last the entire night. Now, would I recommend uh, sitting here and completely <laughs> not doing anything the entire night? No, no, no. Uh, that's not fun. If I was had a, if I had a base like this, I'd put some electrical wiring. Um, I would have, I'd be shooting out the windows. You know, but this whole thing would keep the zombies in check. Heck, I could even melee over here if I had any uh, zombies coming through. So, again, this is just really kind of a way to keep zombies at bay while you're doing your own thing. Or, you know, keep them away from you while you shoot them. Perfectly, perfectly reasonable. Now, yeah, but yeah, electrical wiring, if I was shocking them in place, there's no way they would get past uh, Poundy here if they were shocked in place. Just no way. Not to mention if I had blade traps over here catching the zombies as they fall. That would actually be a cool addition. So you could take this concept of base and take it even further, use them to massacre the hordes. Or you can just use it to have a nice little crafting area where you can not worry about the random zombies, you know, wandering your way throughout the night. So conceptually, I just wanted to, I just wanted to kind of prove that this could handle a lot stronger horde. So we're almost done. Let's uh, see how we do for the rest of the night. All right, welcome to the morning of day 7001. <laughs> All right, let's bring our screen back. Uh, base so far, let's take a quick scan. Yeah, zombies are still coming up. Still doing their thing. A little bit of block loss, but something reasonably we could fix in like two seconds. Not a big deal. Uh, yeah, I think we're still all right. Let's go ahead and pop back into ourselves. Right into our head. There we go. Oh, I'm getting a, probably a fair bit of lag here. All right, we need to clear up some of these zombies, because we did last the night, but they're probably not dying a lot. So let's kind of maybe step out here and help Poundy and uh, Poundy Jr. or Senior, whatever and uh, help get the zombies out of here. All right, I had to repair my gun because uh, I kind of wore them out a little bit. But we're just about done with these guys. Not a problem. Uh, just a few more hits to pop here. Now, if I were fighting in this space, I would definitely want to add some electrical wiring or bob, bob, bob wiring. Uh, bob, barbed wire. Uh, because that will keep the heads nice and still for you to pop them open. Get some slow zombies here. This must be... Uh, Actually, stragglers in the area. Okay, we're just about there. Just a few left. I do believe we're done. I actually hear a screamer in the distance. <laughs> Alright, we are donezo. Alright, let's take a quick look. Actually, I want to take a look at the shotgun turret. Um, stacks are 150, so we used, what, 20, 33 uh, shotgun shells the whole night. So, not bad. So damage, there is a bit of damage here. Uh, so let's see, we lost, well, I think I had some blocks there, didn't I? Yeah, okay. That's a couple steel blocks. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Four blocks in total. And they just kind of kept hopping up and going. So four blocks lost through an entire night. I mean, I've certainly had worse nights. And let's check poundy one and poundy two here. Poundy one, poundy two. And uh, look at the damage. Uh, he's missing not a lot of health. I'd say about a quarter of the health. And that was probably me. I probably put a couple rounds into it. So that, that was probably me doing the damage. So the zombies did next to no damage, if any at all. So I like to say this horror, this base held up really well. And we could super fix this quickly. Just, uh, well, you probably wouldn't use steel blocks. Like, kind of like I have in the creative menu. But we use that just to build it quickly. So one, two, and then three. And a little bit of, a little bit of repairing. So you're, then you're back in action. So, all in all, I'm uh, pretty content with that. Alright, well that's been Genosis with uh, Day 7000 AFK Horde Base, the extreme version 2.0, <laughs> however we're going to title this video. Um, I just wanted to share that this design does work under extreme circumstances with, uh, you know, a few updates. Alright, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time, and don't forget to like and subscribe.